Hello. Uh, a question was posted in the question group yesterday. Uh, it's about uh, symmetric matrices and the eigenvectors and eigenvalues of symmetric matrices. Uh, there's a nice detail there that I'll talk about in this uh, video. Uh, I'll also leave this video in a relevant place for my question friends. Uh, it might be useful before the exam. It might come in handy. Uh, please take your notes. It's not in the PDF. I just wrote the note. It's not in the PDF. You can suck in and add your notes in between anywhere. In fact, if you use good notes like me, I will leave this page below, specifically just this page. You can directly place the page in the range of those pages at the relevant spot. Now, um, what is our question? Our question is as follows. Actually, the question was posed like this. I gave the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a 3 by 3 type symmetric matrix A. It was normally a question like find A. Of course, we covered topics like eigenvalues and eigenvectors, etc. What you will do is multiply this matrix by its eigenvector. We need to equate it to the eigenvalue times the eigenvector and perform the operation. Of course, it can be solved, but there will be a bit too many unknowns in a 3 by 3 type. It's symmetric, but still it will be too many. So, friends, when you do this operation, something like this comes out. What is our situation? The eigenvectors corresponding to the distinct eigenvalues of symmetric matrices are already orthogonal. Therefore, their inner product is zero. I repeat. The eigenvectors corresponding to different eigenvalues of symmetric matrices are orthogonal. When you perform the operation, it leads you to this. Later, we will also provide a simple proof. Uh, now, what is our proof? Uh, let our matrix be symmetric and let the different eigenvalues be lambda 1 and lambda 2. Let the corresponding eigenvectors be u1 and u2. By the way, of course, uh, what was a symmetric matrix? What were these according to the diagonal? When it is symmetric, um, what did we call it? We called it a symmetric matrix. Now, by definition, when we multiply the matrix by its eigenvector, we go to the multiple of this eigenvector by its eigenvalue. So then, uh, what would A times U1 be equal to? Lambda 1 times U1, what about A times U2? Lambda 2 times U2. Here, dear friends, we will multiply the first operation by the transpose vector of U2 and then take the complete transpose of both sides again. So look, we multiply these from the left. Then we took its transpose. How, how was the transpose of a multiplication taken? Everything's position was changing. So these here are from left to right, right? Now you need to change their position from right to left and write their transpose one by one. But of course, this is the transpose of the transpose of two. Dear friends, it asks itself. On the right side, since lambda is a scalar, its transpose is equal to itself and can be written outside as a multiplication. There's no problem here. Then for the transpose of A times U2, I will use this. Since a symmetric matrix is symmetric with respect to the diagonal, its transpose is equal to itself. Well, in this case, I can write A instead. Uh, when I write A, uh, this forms here. Look, A times U2. And what is this equal to? Lambda 2 times U2. Write this here. We wrote this here. Then, when you move everything to one side, this multiplication, or when you push this to this side, Friends, you can take this parenthesis. You take the parenthesis of U1 transpose times U2. Lambda 1 minus lambda 2 comes. Since we assume these are different, it is not zero. Then the product of the transport of U1 and the transport of U2, that is the cross, should be zero. Here, the transport is not important anyway. If the transport of U1 multiplied by U2 is zero, this means that the product of U1 and U2 is also zero. In this case, we are simply saying that again, both America, we can guarantee that they are orthogonal. So, what does this provide us in light of all this information? If we are told about a three by three type symmetric A matrix, if the eigenvalues are different and the corresponding eigenvectors are given, we can directly reach the question, reach the answer by making the initial product of these vectors zero. I say. As I said, I am leaving it below in case there are those who specifically want this page. I say you can you can paste it, paste it by handwriting in the relevant places or directly copy and paste the page for those using a tablet. I wish you good work, good luck.